are now in the deep end of horror. And I will see the life run out of you. Hello, Sultan of the Popcorn. Hello, my children of the popcorn. Well, here's another hammer set from Indicator, who does such a fantastic job. They are a true cinephile's delight. Um, they don't have tchotchkes or anything like that, but they do an excellent job with their discs. They do an excellent, they include excellent booklets with them and so many special features. And Hammer Volume 3 has the Camp on Blood Island, Stranglers of Bombay, Yesterday's Enemy, and the Terror of the Tongs. Terror of the Tongs is featured here with Christopher Lee's face. As you can see, this was kind of a dry run for the Fu Manchu series, although the Fu Manchu series is not Hammer. Um, the Camp on Blood Island and Yesterday's Enemy are World War II films. And Stranglers on Bombay is uh, about the thuggy cult. So Stranglers and Terror of the Tongs are horror adjacent. There's Yesterday's Enemy, Stanley Baker, Guy Rolfe, Leo McKern, Gordon Jackson, great cast. Um, Camp on Blood Island, which, <laughs> which the Japanese are uh the japanese are really put through the ringer on on this one and it 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 sparked some outcry at how how evil the japanese were on this one so they attempted to do some balance with yesterday's enemy which they which they released later um both of them are are very interesting films stranglers of bombay is in black and white and stars guy rolf and is uh, of course told from the viewpoint of the imperialists, the British, in in India, but um, they do at least attempt some balance. Guy Rolfe, the main character, uh, sympathizes. Uh, he serves the British Empire because he is British, but he also sympathizes with not the thuggies, but but the people in general. And Terror of the Tongs, Christopher Lee, wonderful performance. Thank you for watching. This is Kali, the goddess of destruction. In this temple of horror, she reigns supreme. She gave our ancestors this sacred cloth and said, Kill! Yes! Yes! This is true. This is real. This actually happened in mystery shrouded India. As a perverted religious sect gripped a nation by the throat, its worship is dedicated to the wanton destruction of human life. They were called thuggies. There's necks. What about them? Oh, they're broken, all of them broken. Those bones are so old, they're disintegrating. How can you tell they're broken? There was one that wasn't so old, remember? It still had some flesh on it. Prepare the sacred cloth. Kill! Kill! One million murders as satanic killers prowl the fearsome night for innocent victims of their far-flung murder cult. Harry! No woman can resist. No man can survive their strangling silks. You have sinned against the goddess Kali. Those that sin against Kali must suffer the pain of never looking upon her face again. <laughs> the incredible truth about India's thuggies, the butchers of Bombay, deadlier than their native cobras. See Mongoose fight cobra for a man's life. See the stranglers of Bombay. You must be made to respect the Red Dragon, Su Yen. There's nothing... This was Hong Kong at the turn of the century, when the terror of the Tong spread like an evil growth across the Orient. Hong Kong, with its dancing girls, 
its vice-ridden hideouts, and its secret society, embracing 100 years of terror. These were the faces of the Red Dragon Tong, who had their roots in Peking. Their vicious tentacles reached out to throttle every man and woman who dared to challenge their ruthless regime. Our enemies are very thorough. This is a remarkably accurate document. We are all named. Have we eliminated all those who may have read this list? The messenger is dead. The woman who took the paper from the book is dead. This is Chung King, the most feared man in all Hong Kong, whose hatchet men had cleaved a path of terror and destruction. Who are you? What do you want? This is the tough Captain Sales. His one aim, to smash the Tong that had killed his daughter. You're a Tong man, aren't you? Tong? The Red Dragon, the people you work for. No! And this is Lee, the beautiful half-caste, who lived in fear of the Tong and found love in the midst of terror. You have meddled in matters which do not concern you. You have poked and pried into the affairs of the Red Dragon Tong for no other reason that I can see than that of personal revenge. One plays with fire, one must expect to be burnt. The severity of the burn being governed by the strength of the fire. And you have chosen to play with a very large fire indeed. It is a Red Dragon Tong! Kill them! Click like, subscribe, or even comment below because I want to hear what you think. No fear.